Okay, this time we are going to create a chicken. So what I'm going to do is grab my placeholder, my chicken, and let's just put it over here. And um, that's my placeholder chicken. Bloody yank points every time. Um, modeling X form edit pivot bottom done. Okay, so we need to create a blueprint out of this again. So let's go ahead and create a blueprint class. Uh, it will just be a type actor, we'll be fine. And we'll call it chicken for dinner tonight. And let's open it up. All right, so our chicken. Um, yeah, let's just browse to asset and drag and drop it in. Actually, let's make it a little bit bigger as well. We're going to make it two. And as always, go ahead and add yourself a a box collision. Now for now, I'm not going to set up like really any AI on the chicken, but I think that'll be fun to do later on, have it walking around. All I'm going to do for now is just be able to pick it up, move it from point A to point B. So that's why I've added the box collision on there. Now, as we've done a few times, let's go ahead and grab that box collision on the enter and let's grab it on the end too. Now, Inside here, we are going to want to say if it overlaps with our third person character, or again, whatever you have named your character, then we're going to allow it to be pick up and put down. But we're going to need to control this on our actual character. So I'm just going to go to third person, blueprint, open up my third person character. And this is all default. I've not actually added anything to this yet on this project. And like I said before, I've not set my inputs yet, so I'm just going to put a a test one in. I'll just do a keyboard one. I'm just, I'm just going to say keyboard one, and that'll create me this one node. Now, from here, I'm going to say, hey, can this person pick up the chicken? So I'm just dragging off this condition. Sorry, I held B, left clicks there, or just right click and type in branch. Um, let's promote this to a variable and say, can it pick up the chicken? Can it pick up the chicken? So obviously if we've got a chicken in hand already, we don't want to pick it up, but by default, yeah, we should be able to pick up a chicken, all right? So once we've picked up the chicken, then what we're going to do is we are going to make it look like we've got a, a chicken in hand. And what we're going to do so is by going back to the viewport and getting your mesh of your chicken, which is here. I'm just going to drag and drop it in. Where's my chicken now? There it is. I'm going to drag and drop it as part of the mesh. And I'm going to say it should be stuck to its, let's just put it to its left hand. Hand L. Let's go in and have a look. Um, you might need to make a couple of tweaks at this point. Move it into the sort of correct spot. That rotation is all wrong. Let's Move you about there, move you about here. Um, sometimes it can be quite hard to grab these if it's moving, or maybe you're just getting too much movement. So I'm actually just going. You can actually just drag from the numbers here as well. All right. So we'll consider that in hand. I don't want to spend ages trying to get that. Correct. So that'll do for now. Um, and also don't forget to turn off the collision on it. No collision. And by default, let's actually make this um, invisible. So type in visibility and just set invisible. Okay. So if we can pick it up, what we're going to do is we're going to grab reference to our thing. And we're going to say set visibility. And we're going to turn it on. And once we've done that, um, we are going to want to destroy the chicken in the world. Destroy actor. But not ourselves. How do we know what actor we want to destroy? Well, that is going to be a reference to our chicken. So I'm just going to promote this to a variable again. And we'll call it chick ref. Now, what we're going to need to do here is in the variable with your chick ref selected. Instead of it being an actor, 
let's actually change it to a uh, chicken. Change variable type. Yep, 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 that's fine. Probably should have just created the reference down here. Uh, it, then it wouldn't have had to do that. Okay, so now it's going to destroy a uh, chicken. But it doesn't know which chicken to destroy yet. So I'm going to just bounce back to our uh, chicken blueprint over here. And I want to set... Um, oh, how did I spell chick? There it is. I spelled it like that. Cool. I want to actually set that. So I'm just going to say set that to be self. Right? And let's actually give this a check. So shall we give this a check? Um, don't forget to replace the one in your level with your chicken blueprint. Get rid of you. So if I walk over to this now and press 1, it's in hand. <gasps> But the chicken in the world was size two, and this chicken's only size one. Okay, I can fix this by going to my player, clicking on that mesh, and changing it to, you know what, let's just go 1.5, and we'll scale this one down, because I did think it was actually a bit big in the world anyway. Set you to 1.5. Aside from a glaring scale issue, press one, it works. I mean, obviously, we, we need an animation. We'll have, like, a, a bending over animation, and we can't do anything with it now we've got it. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So let's play animation. Print string. We don't have an animation yet. So we'll make an animation of that later. Bend over. Uh, so we'll play a bend over animation. And you know what? Let's just allow bit of time for that animation to actually occur so we've got it bending over and we've got that um but now that we've done that so we've now we've got it we've picked it up what about if we want to sort of put it down so at this point the can pick we actually want to set that to be false so back on my chicken i'm just going to say set can pick while well, i take a short sip of my tea Delicious. Um, I'm gonna set it to be zero. So now, not zero. Um, off, false. So now it's set to can pick. Now we're gonna do the opposite side, which is the put down. And all we're just gonna do is we're gonna spawn an actor from class. What is said actor? You may ask. Well, it's gonna be the chicken. And where are we going to spawn said actor, you ask? Well, I'm going to create an arrow to tell you where I'm going to spawn the chicken. Which is just going to be in front and about sort of over here. That'll do. Um, and it's like, cool. Now let's get reference to our new arrow. And we're going to drag after I'm going to say get transform. Not relative transform, get world transform. Uh, get transform. Why can't we find the world transform? Maybe let's just put, let's, maybe let's just type in get world transform. Why was it not showing that before? It was just showing relative. Annoying. Anyway, there we go. Now we've got that done. Um, we should be able to hit that and compile that. Don't forget we want to set this bad boy to be invisibles. And let's give it a quick test. Whoa! Error. Compile. So, walk over, pick up said chicken. Oh, why didn't it go invisible? It's just spawning chickens! Okay, let's have a quick look, see what we've done here. Did we forget? No, we said that's false. So, when we overlap with the... When the bird overlaps with it, so it can pick. Um, oh, because basically we're doing that as soon as we set to overlap. Let's not actually do that. Right? Let's get rid of you. We actually, I don't think we want to do that there. I think we actually want to do that on here. So bend over, pick the animation, and then let's set the can pick here. 
as false. Set can pick to be false. Let's test that again. I think we just had that in the wrong place. So I'll pick you up. We got it. And let's press one. And there we go. We've let go. Um, ooh, we can keep pressing one. Let's spawn. All right, we've got things to tweak. Let's also add it. Let's add some physics to that chicken because it didn't fall to the floor. Um, and I don't actually want it to rotate, so I'm going to go inside the constraints. I'm just going to say lock rotation and let's simulate physics. That will drop to the floor, which will look a bit better. Um, on the player, though, all right, let's think about this logically. Let's create a new variable, another Boolean, oops, and say has chicken. So, and that's going to be a type Boolean. Basically, has chicken is set to fault, but at this point, once we've picked it up, let's set this to be true. So let's set you to be true. There, like that. Um, and then, instead, let's ask the question here. Let's create another one. So just holding B and left clicking, or just right clicking type branch. Let's actually say, if it has the chicken, right? Um, if it has the chicken, let's just move you over here away from all that jazz. If it has the chicken, spawn the chicken, set the visibility, and let's set hash chicken to be false. Right. And on here do we need to so right let's think about this logic so when one is pressed if it can pick um which it can only pick if we're close to it so yes so we we are right logically there sorry so we are right there when it's close to it we can pick and if we walk away from it we can't pick so I'm just doing a bit of copying and pasting here. So if we walk away from it, we can't pick it up. Right. So if we're close to it, if we're in range, we can pick it up. And providing we don't have a chicken. So let's ask the question again. So providing we have a chicken is false. Move you over here. What I did in one. So if Raiden has a chicken is false. Bend over. Set the visibility of our fake chicken to true. Destroy the real chicken and say it can't pick up. And it has a chicken. So it can't pick any more chickens because we have one. Right? So at which point we can logically say, do we have a chicken? Uh, if that's true. Well, we press that one interact button, then spawn the chicken, and then set that visibility to there. All right, all right, all right. I think logically that's sound. I think I just sort of tied myself in a bit of a knot there. So, pick it up, press one, let it go. It drops to the floor. If we stood away from it, we press one, it won't do anything. Let's try and pick it up again. Oi, get in my hands. Cool. Take it back to this person. Give him that. You know, there you go. Have a lovely chicken. What about this? Should in theory also work with multiple chickens because we've set it up as a a variable. So let's add a couple of chickens to this. Cool. Put you over there. Put you over there. All right. All right. All right. Right. Cool. Okay. Uh, I think we're happy with that. The pick up and put down, that was always going to be um, a hard part, but we've got that sus now. I think next, what we need to do is have a system so we can, you know, walk over and put it in an actual den and not recognize that and update the character. But for now, this video is running a bit long. So, that'll do, donkey. See you in the next one.